we start with zero duality we will not prove zero duality just state the result you start with x smooth algebraic set over k of dimension n So think of x as a curve, e is a vector bundle on x, and you know this looks like Ox copies n times, e star is the dual of the vector bundle. So you know this canonical sheaf. This is the exterior product of this omega 1 over the curve x where n is the dimension of the curve x or you can say smooth algebraic set x and you recall that this omega 1 x is nothing but free k x1 comma x2 all the way to xn module with basis dx1 dx2 dx3 all the way to dxn and this looks like so this omega 1 x looks like this yeah direct sum of copies of kx1 to xn dxi we have talked about this before so serif duality is nothing but this isomorphism hi x comma e this is iso2 h of n minus i x comma kx tensor with e star so let us do an example and that will make it clear what we mean and actually this is what we will continuously use so say x is pn then kpn is o minus n minus 1 this we have shown before say e is o of t then e star would be o of minus t so these are line bundles we have talked about before the line bundle and its dual so then you have h n of p n o d so you are taking i as n will be equal to h 0 p n o minus n minus 1 minus t so this we have seen before yeah, so you can check this theorem again in the Daniel Perrin's book, Algebraic Geometry. So this you have seen multiple times before. So we are just confirming the result. So the theorem, theorem is, say x is a smooth projective curve over x. Then the genus of x. The genus of x. is equal to h0 of x comma kx so we are relating the genus to the canonical sheaf so notice that we just have omega 1 here because it's a curve so you're only talking about dimension 1 so we, we do not have to worry about exterior products in this case so notice that you can use serif duality here Yeah, instead of E, you're putting in KX and you're taking I as 0 and N as 1. N is 1, obviously, we are having a curve here. So KX tensor with KX star will just give you O of X because KX itself is a line bundle. So now you just take dimension of both sides and we have defined genus to be h1 x comma ox so that proves our result. Now we want to do an example that p1 has genus 0. Okay so what is kp1? kp1 you know is o of minus n minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 so o of minus 2 and the global section corresponding to the sheaf o of minus 2 is 0 
precisely because o of minus 2 consists of functions where the denominator has degree 2 more than the numerator and there are no non constant global sections and you know that o of minus 2 just denotes non constant global sections because constants cannot have degree of numerator less than degree of denominator and uh, therefore the uh, h0 of p1 o minus 2 is 0 genus is 0 now we write, rewrite the riemann rock theorem so first we write down the Euler characteristic I'm expanding the Euler characteristic and we just stop at 1 because this is just a curve so dimension 2 3 4 etc do not exist so this is equal to degree of L genus of the curve X plus 1 now we have shown that this h1 x comma l is equal to h0 x comma kx tensor with l star yeah serre duality so riemann rock now becomes h0 x comma l minus h0 of x comma kx tensor with l star this is equal to degree of l minus genus plus 1 yeah so this is the most commonly referred to riemann rock theorem form now one theorem we want to cover very important degree of the canonical sheaf is 2g minus 2 where genus is the g is the genus of a smooth projective curve x over k so you start by putting l equals to kx in the formula above this formula b here you just put l equals to kx Yeah, I should the first term I should write as x comma kx not kx comma l but anyway you understand you just replace l with kx so this is just genus g which we just covered a few seconds ago the second term is more interesting yeah h0 kx tensor with kx star kx tensor with kx star will just give you o of x and this is nothing but the global section o of x since you the entire global section on O of X is just the constants. So yeah, degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator. You do not have any non-constant functions. And the only thing possible here is the constants. And the dimension of this constant we take as 1. So this is 1 here. Yeah, so we get degree of Kx is equal to 2G minus 2. So now another theorem, say x is a smooth projective curve over k, L is a line bundle on x. Now if degree of L is greater than or equal to 2g minus 1 then you have this h0 of x comma L is equal to degree of L minus g plus 1. So first we copy down the Riemann rock this is formula in B.
So essentially what we want to do is we want to show this second term on the left hand side. This term is 0. So if we show this is 0, we are done. So let us show this is 0. So kx tensor with L star. So take the minimum possible value of degree of L that is 2g minus 1. So this will be O of 2g minus 2 minus whatever corresponding degree of L is which is minus 2g minus 1 um, that minus becomes plus yeah so we are taking the minimum value so this will be O of minus 1 so if you take any line bundle which is greater or equal to 2g minus 1 you will get this sheaf after you tensor it as O of minus d where d is greater or equal to 1 now we are talking about sections h0 that is we are talking about global sections but O of minus t globally acting on entire curve x has dimension 0 because there are no non-constant global sections and O of minus 1 or minus t just denotes non-constant sections because degree of denominator is greater than degree of numerator. So thus the dimension h0 is 0 and we have our result. Now the last slide we talk about the adjunction formula. So say this y is contained in x and it is of co-dimension 1. So this is some x and you see this y is lying in it. So the canonical sheaf on y, you can just determine it from the canonical sheaf on x tensor with the O of y. And then you restrict it to y. So example is where we will use this adjunction formula we can use adjunction to compute genus of say a smooth plane curve y lying in P2. So adjunction can be used to compute the genus of a smooth plane curve y in P2 and this curve y has degree d. So we just feed in the values into the adjunction formula. So just copy down the adjunction formula replacing x with p2. Now this p2 corresponds to O of minus 3 minus n minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 and O of y will give you d. Then we have to take care of this restriction to y, take degree on both sides. You get d minus 3 here and then d corresponding to this y here. So this d comes from degree of a line bundle on y. So degree of ky is 2g minus 2. And uh, yeah, this is how we get the genus.